Now uh, we'll again move to the compiler. Move to compiler. Hmm. I will share the compiler. Now <laughs> you can see here uh, the name is very much attached uh, to the question mark. So what we have to do is here. Uh, give it one space so that it will not attach. Also, after is, the name is attached. So what you do, you give one space here, after is. Now you again run this program. I'll give you the, my name is Anthony. Okay, now you can see that it is uh, not attached. But <clears throat> what is the problem here? The name is coming at the end. Okay. Name is coming at the end. So suppose I want to write welcome uh, dot 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 to the workshop. Okay. So in that case, I should be able to put it is inside. So I will just change that now. Welcome. Welcome percentage yes yes means what string okay so name is a string okay welcome to welcome dot 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 to workshop okay to the workshop so I'll just remove this and before the variable, what we have to write? Percentage. Okay. Percentage. Okay. So instead of percentages, it will write the variable, whatever is uh, there in the percentages. Okay. I will just uh, repeat again. So what we are doing here, we are putting the message on the screen. What is your name? So whatever is replied by that user, we are taking it as a variable call as a name. And that we are printing. But now what is our need is that we want to print the name not at the end, which is printing at user, but in between the line. So how we do? We write percentage S for the string. Percentage T for integer percentage f for the float okay so here it is a string it is a string okay so we have to use the percentage yes okay and before the variable we have to write the percent okay so if you uh, print now if you run this program it will come welcome whatever the name we give suppose i give the name Anthony, so it will print, welcome Anthony to the workshop. Please try this, please try this message. So uh, like we earlier saw that when we print it, it will come at the end. But now our aim is to print the name of the variable in between, okay? So that for that, we have to use different uh, percentage for the string, percentage D for the integer, percentage F for the float, like the other languages. Okay. And in front of a variable, we have to write the percent. Okay. Now it is a string. That's why I'm writing percentages. Now try this. Once you try this, uh, then we'll move to again PPT. We'll move further and see what are the other features are available. What are different data types are available in the Python. We we'll try this at the year end.
Okay, so if you have tried, then we'll move to the. Uh, uh, sir, uh, I have a doubt here. Uh, yes, 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 please. Yeah, yeah. sir. Uh, in the shell, no. Uh, what is your name? After that, I uh, write my name and then I pressed enter. So after pressing enter again, next line it is uh, showing my name and then uh, welcome to the workshop. Like that, it is showing to me. Yeah. So after writing name like here, uh, Anthony, uh, shall it, I have to? Press you enter? you just put your code in the our. Uh, a WhatsApp group that I will come to know what is the mistake you made. Okay. So percentage S is the location of the variable that we have read just now. Okay. Name variable that will come there. Okay. You just uh, copy the program in WhatsApp. Yes, type sir. Yeah. Like that uh, output I'm getting in the shell. So I type the message in the group. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm seeing the message, but it is coming two times. You yes, written? yes. Maybe you have written two times. You just I can run that program. Uh, sir, just... what I did. Yes, sir. Yeah. I will just run the program. Okay. I will copy your program. I'll run it. Let's say Anthony. It is coming only once. So after Anthony, uh, what do I mean? After writing the name here, uh, mm -hmm. I pressed enter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it is coming. Uh, output is that print. It will print then. It is printing what? Welcome. Then whatever is the name of the variable that is Anthony is stored here to the workshop. It is correct. Program is correct. Okay. So, Maybe you have okay, you have written twice. Now, no, no uh, sir. I pressed enter after uh, typing the name. Yeah, you try again. Okay. Now here we have seen now uh, how to read the string. Now we'll see about the integer. How to read the integer and how to write okay so if you have finished this we'll move to the next program reading the integers then doing some calculation and then printing okay here we'll take the integer now in this first case what we have taken string what we have taken string okay string is what alphabets a b c d e f g like this now next what we'll do we'll read the integer integer means uh, whole number okay, okay. no fraction okay. so i'll just uh, take the program i'll also copy for you from the ppt it is a little bit a big program but uh, maybe for practice it is good i'm just sending the program so i am uh, sending the photograph uh, because you should type and you should feel the each and uh, every syntax okay syntax okay so that's why i'm sending the jpg so i will just copy the program i have a program with me already so in this program what i am doing i am reading in this program, what I'm doing, I'm reading the three sides of the triangle. And from that, I'm finding the area. Okay. So I'm taking A as a variable. Okay. And uh, I'm taking it as a float. Okay. This is an example for float. Like I'm re reading first. I'm say telling that enter the first side. And I am reading that as a float. Outside that, we can write the type of the variable. What I'm considering the type is float. Okay. So I'm reading the first side as A, second side as a B. When I'm reading, I'm putting the message to the user, enter the second side. 
when I'm reading C, I'm putting the message to the user as a enter the search side. And outside at the input, I am writing the flow. Like earlier in the name case, we will not mention any variable. Okay. So default, I think it will take the string. Okay. Default, it will take a string. Now, uh, now here uh, I have to specifically, specifically design where uh, to decide that it is a float. Okay. And calculations will be also the float. So then I'm calculating one variable called as a AS. It is a A plus B plus C divided by three. So it will also float. Now for checking purpose, I'm also printing here AS but not needed. When I print this, so like S is, okay. Then I'm writing percentage F and then percentage of this S, okay. This variable, okay. Or you just uh, print the S, it is also okay. Please understand here. If you just write uh, instead of this, we just write instead of this, Instead of this only, if you write yes, it's okay. Name of the variable we write in the bracket, it will print the yes, okay. Now to calculate the area, this is a formula for area. The bracket s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c, bracket complete. For the square root, what is the, for power, what is the operator here? Double star. Double star is what? operator for the power. Which power we are taking? 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is what? We are taking the square root. Okay. Then you print the area. Area of triangle is. Then as it is a float, you have to write percentage F. You just write percentage F, but then we will not able to control how many uh, places after decimal. Okay. How many places it will print of the decimal place, okay? So here we are telling only print the two digits of the decimal place, okay? Okay, so I will just run this program. So enter first side. If I entering here one, it will take 1.0 1. 1. 1. Uh, something, okay? Now second side, I think net is down. Yeah, second side I will take, don't take two. If you take two, then it becomes zero. Okay. You take 2.2, .2, then three. Now you can see here this what is the use of this uh, first syntax? Use of first syntax, it is just printing the same thing. O only the way we want to print, it can print. Okay. Like uh, suppose it is coming in between uh, your value. Okay. If your value is coming in between. Then first syntax we have to use. Second syntax directly printing the value, but it don't give the idea what it is printing. Okay. So first option for printing is better. Mm -hmm. Then it is calculating the area. Area of triangle is after decimal place, it is printing 0 0.52. Why? Because of we have written here, it is a percentage 0 0.02. Means what? Two decimal places after the Two decimal places it will print okay now suppose if we make it four and run it back if we make it four it will give up to the four decimal places i will give the first side second uh, third so it is giving you here Four decimal places. Okay. What is the meaning of this? 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4 means after decimal places, four digits. Okay. So in this way, you can do this. So when, when we write percentage F here, outside we have to write percentage in front of the variable. We have to write percentage in front of variable. Let's try this. Here we use the percentage F. Percentage F is used for float. Means the numbers which are not complete, like 1.2, 2.3, like this. This is a float. Try this. I also given the program. 
in our WhatsApp group. So you just try this. Enter the first side one. Don't use the two because two minus two becomes zero here. So you take two point two something. So the variable s yes is two point zero six. If your triangle is a point zero five two three eight. So I have given the field, uh, like if you do mathematical calculation, mostly they are in the float, not complete number, maybe 1.2 like this, decimal places. Okay, how to read it, how to write it. Please understand, even if you enter integer, it will convert to the float. Suppose we enter one, it will take 1.0. If you enter three, it will take three point two. Okay. So this was the direct uh, use of compiler. I told you. Now uh, we'll again move to the PPT. So I'm directly showing on the uh, compiler so that you can learn fast and understand it. More the practice you make. It'll be more familiar with it. So I'll just move to the PPT again. Now, uh, just I mentioned you uh, while printing, you may be uh, interested to have some escape characters. Like after printing something, you you may want to move to the next. Uh, horizontal line. In that case, uh, we have to use the uh, escape characters like forward slash n. This escape characters you will use forward slash n means it will move to the after that it will move jump to the next horizontal line, jump down. Okay. It will jump down to the new line. Then we can also have some tab spacing in the same line horizontal spacing by uh, backward slash D. Then there is also carriage return. We can come back to the uh, first position in horizontal line. So this, uh, this is not visible in this uh, compiler what I'm showing, but in Go, uh, Google Colab, it is visible. The carriage return. Then if you suppose uh, in printing, we want to uh, write some code quote, single quote or double quote, we have to use with this uh, backward slash, then we can print that. Okay. So now same thing, uh, we'll print uh, Anthony Gonzalez in a different way, in the single row, uh, maybe three rows or, and next is uh, with the spacing, with the tab, okay. So this uh, program I'm sending you, to the WhatsApp group. Just try this. I will also show you on my compiler. I will also show you on my compiler. So here we'll use uh, next line. Then we'll use the tab. Okay. And in the next program, we'll use the single quote, double quote. Okay, so you just try this. So I will just move from uh, this PPT to the compiler. I'll just move to compiler.
I will just share the my screen. I will just share my screen now again. I am just writing this print uh, with only quote in this side is a blank horizontal line. Okay. So in first line, I am writing my name is Anthony Gonzalez, as it is. This complete line will come in a horizontal uh, row. Then I am giving the space. I am just giving the space, horizontal space, just by printing nothing. Okay. After that, it will again move to the next line. In next line, what I'm doing, I'm printing on one horizontal line, my name, and then I'm telling forward slash n means what, go to the next horizontal line, means go down. And I'm printing is, and I'm again telling that, go to the next line by saying backward slash n. Okay, so again, it will go in the next line, and it will print Anthony Gonzalez. It will print Anthony Gonzalez. Again, I am giving one space. Printing code, nothing means what? It will go to next line down without printing anything. Again, in that, I am between the two words I am giving the tab. So I am, I am saying backward slash T. After my and after name, I am again saying backward slash T. Then after is, I am saying backward slash t. After Anthony, backward slash t. And then Gonzalez. Okay. Then again, one blank horizontal line. So you just try, type this and then you can uh, fill it in the output. I will just run this program. Okay. You can see first. My name is Anthony Gonsalves is printed as we have typed in the line number two. Then we have given blank space by printing as in the code or nothing is there. Okay, so it is a blank line. Then I am printing by my name. Then moving to next line, then printing is. Then back for backward slash n, I am moving to next line. Okay, like this. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, sir, you are sharing the images now, so we cannot directly copy paste the program. Yeah, you are why? sharing it in images now. Yeah, yeah. Why I'm not doing that? Because yes. then you will not learn syntax. That's why I'm only giving the GP. Okay, you want us to type it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to type. <laughs> okay, so sir, it will take some time for us, sir, to type everything. Yeah, you go slow. It then. will take sir no, uh, no, no. time for us to type everything yeah, yeah. because. Uh, even then you, you only try uh, this uh, third line, okay? You just try this uh, point, uh, line number four, line number four to seven, okay? Other you don't type. Okay? So I will, otherwise, uh, what I will do, I will just give the two lines. My name is Anthony Gonzalez. Other thing, you just copy and modify that in the return. Okay. So I have given that. You just modify them. That lines. So you have to uh, practice with me so that you can build uh, confidence and then you can uh, make more and more complex uh, program. Okay. So in this program, we are saying that uh, if you see uh, right uh, backward slash n, then from that it will go to the next uh, downward horizontal line. Okay. Like here from my name, I type here uh, backward slash n. So it is going to the next horizontal line. So it is going down. And then it is printed is. And after is again, backward slash n. 
and it has Taif, Anthony Gonzalez. So you just modify this. Uh, I've just modified it, this uh, two lines and getting this. Okay. Try this. Please understand, uh, you cannot learn the program just by uh, attending the lecture, but uh, you need to practice simultaneously. So what I suggest is uh, you use mobile for attending this workshop and laptop or PC for practice. Okay, you try this. If anything is a problem, you tell me. Run this, you'll get this problem. Now, same program we have to modify. Okay, what do I have to write now? Same your program, you copy this. So what you have, whatever I have given you. So now I have to write in the quote. I have to write my name is Anthony Gonzalez in the single quote. So how I will do? Take the backward slash. Then you write maybe double quote or single quote. So write double quote. Again here backward slash uh, double quote. Okay, so I will print, uh, delete now previous lines. So I will make only this much power. Okay, so you just run this. So you can see now, oh, it is coming in the quotes. Okay, my name is Anthony Gonzalez is coming in the double quote. Okay, I am just giving this basic lines, you modify this at least. Modify this. What modification you have to do? You have to make the double quote. You have to make the double quote like this. What I did now, I used uh, backward slash with the double quote here. Again here, backward slash with the double quote. Then in printing, it is showing the double quote. You can see here. It is showing double quote in the Printing. You can also print the single quote here instead of double quote. I can also print single quote. So you just take instead of double quote, you take the single quote. Double quote, you take the single quote. Okay. Done. I will just print now. There is some syntax error. Okay, you have to end with the double quote here. So, the program. So, I will also give it to you directly now so that you can try. You can try it every end. I will directly give one program now. First without code, then double code, and then single code. Try this. Now, uh, how to create the delay in the printing? 
that we will see. So before that, what do you do? Import time. What I'm doing here, I am uh, putting some delay, okay? Like this uh, double quote and uh, single quote, I am putting the without quote and with quote, I am putting some delay, okay? So it is called as time, sleep. So I want to sleep for three seconds. I am, what I am putting is delay. Please understand. What I am putting is now delay. Between my name is Anthony without code and with code. So I will run now. So you can see after some three seconds, uh, this line with the double quote is coming. Okay. So that is the delay. How we get the delay? Uh, we have to first import the time. And then uh, we have to give the time slip. So whatever second you want, uh, three seconds here, suppose I take five seconds, then it will take five seconds, and then it will print the next line. So this is a delay taken with the help of time.sleep. I will send this program you, to you, how to introduce the delay, how to introduce the delay. I'm just sending you the program on WhatsApp. How to introduce delay in the printing, okay? Or any execution. So I will just copy. I'll just copy this and send you. Please run in your compiler. You change the time. You can feel how much is the delay you want between first and second line printing. The delay is taken care with the help of uh, time slip, okay? Time dot slip. You have to import the time. If you put directly time dot slip, it will not take. You have to first import the time. Okay. Again, we will start again next session. Okay. I think it is, it will close now. So, Zoom will close now, maybe. So we take a delay into care. How we implement a delay with the time dot slip in the bracket number of seconds of the delay you want. Okay. So you try this. I have given you for practice. If you practice, uh, we'll again meet in uh, eight minutes. We'll again meet in the eight minutes.